Hey guys, how's it going? Dr. Leverface back with my latest pickups video, and this time it's a fuckload of Sega stuff. Um, a few months ago I had like that Nintendo haul, this time it's nothing but Sega, so it's pretty damn cool. I lucked out on some really sweet stuff that I've been after for a little while, and I found a new console, which is pretty cool. I found an original Mega Drive 2. It's in pretty damn good condition. Surprisingly, I don't have one of these in my collection already, so it's pretty cool, and it came with all of the usual shit yeah um controllers cables all that fucking exciting stuff how exciting is that so yeah that's pretty cool i found this really really cheap and it came with a couple of games which i'll show you in a minute but yeah it's just nice to finally have one of those in the collection and i picked up a fuckload of mega drive games um i bought a lot more than i'm going to show you but most of the ones i've already had and uh, they've been in previous pickup videos so i've just skipped over those but I've got a lot of classics that I've been missing and after for a while. So first up is the original EA hockey game. Awesome classic hockey action. Really cool to have that. I've got some of the later ones, but this was the first one, I believe. And there's also the classic Outrun, which I didn't have, surprisingly. Um, awesome, awesome game. I'm fucking terrible at it. I can never get very far, but really cool to have that at last. And then I picked up Revenge of Shinobi. So I'm only missing one Shinobi game now, and that's the first one on the Master System. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. And two classics, all-time classics, Micro Machines and Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament, which, when I was a kid, this fucking blew me away. You have, like, extra controller ports and the actual cartridge, so when I was a kid, that was, like, the greatest thing ever. But I used to rent this a lot as a kid, and finally, now, like, 20 years later, I'm adding it to my collection. And I picked up a couple of compilations, just the standard shit. Mega Games 1, which consists of Super Hang On, Columns, and World Cup Italia 90. So yeah, a couple of good games on there, but nothing really exciting. And then I picked up this as well, which is really sweet. Mega Games 3, which contains Alien Storm, Super Thunder Blade, and Super Monaco GP. So fuckload of classics there already. And then I've got some upgrades. I picked up Shadow of the Beast, which I already had the cartridge only, but now I've got the box and instruction manual as well, which is really sweet. And Zero Wing, which was an upgrade, because I had cartridge only, and now I have everything, so it's complete. Next up, we got, these are the two that came with the Mega Drive 2 that I picked up, and that is Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure, and a compilation of Quackshot and Castle of Illusion, a couple of wicked Disney games there. Castle of Illusion was absolutely all-time classic, so so fucking happy to finally have that. Just get rid of this shit, and then we'll carry on. And the last three games are... Mario Andretti Racing, uh, nothing too exciting there. Psycho Pinball, which is a pretty damn sweet pinball game, actually. I was quite surprised by that. And Vector Man, which is an absolute fucking classic. And it's quite sought after. It's not, it doesn't go for a lot of money, but it's kind of hard to find. You don't see many about in Southampton, at least. So, unless you want to pay ridiculous eBay prices. But I lucked out with that. Got it for, like, I think £2. So, pretty sweet. And that's it for the Mega Drive, and I picked up a new handheld as well. I bet you can guess what it is. I mean, Sega only had, like, two handhelds. And that is the Sega Game Gear. At long last, I have a Game Gear in my collection. It's in okay condition. Um, there's a few, like, scuffs on the screen. I don't know if you can make it out there, but I'm going to replace the screen and put a backlight in and everything, so that's sweet. And it came with, you know, the standard magnifying glass accessory, which was a staple of handhelds back in the day. And the one game I got with it is, it's pretty fucking rare, Columns. Yay, Columns. But yep, yeah, I'm really fucking happy to pick this up. And despite what I just said, I, I fucking love Columns. It's a classic game, it's good. It's, you've got to have it if you have a Game Gear. So it's pretty sweet. And then a few little special things um, now. So actually, no, I'm going to do a couple of PSP games. Managed to pick up Afterburner. Black Falcon, and Virtua Tennis. Nothing too fucking exciting there, but didn't have either of them. The only fucking shitter is that my uh, PSP uh, broke recently. It fell out of my pocket and broke, so now I've got nothing to play them on. I need to track down another one, but not really a big fan of tennis, but for some reason Virtua Tennis is just great fun. I have no idea who these people are, but they look like they really, really love tennis. Good for them. Good for them. But yeah. Sweet. Need a new PSP, though. And... Uh, Finally, there's a new Dreamcast game, and it's not Ghostblade, which is the one everyone was waiting for. I still haven't picked it up yet. But this came out of nowhere. It's a little puzzle game called Fruity, and it only cost two euros, so I couldn't not pick it up. I had to pick it up. I'm going for a complete Dreamcast collection, and it's like two, three euros. It can't really go wrong. It's a pretty damn sweet little puzzle game. Proper retro arcade puzzle action. 
Um, it's, I've played it a little bit, I've got quite far in it, but it's, it's a good, nice little game, but it's just not really for me, so I'm probably not going to put too much more time into it. But yeah, for like two, three euros, you can't really complain. Brand new Dreamcast game, awesome. And then last up, we have some really, really super awesome fucking vinyl records, which if you've seen my previous video, you already know what they are. I picked up Streets of Rage soundtrack on vinyl from Data Discs. And there's the Shenmue vinyl as well, Data002. And the last one, which I haven't uploaded the video for yet, I'll probably do it after I've uh, put this on, but I finally got Shinobi Free, Return of the Ninja Master on vinyl from Data Discs. Uh, I think some of the standard ones are going to be repressed soon, but all of these are the limited editions and they've sold out. But if you want to see what these look like, watch my other videos, have a look on my channel and find them. But yeah, they're really, really fucking sweet and they sound incredible. So really, really happy to pick these up. And the next one's going to be Super Hang On. That's going to drop in November. So definitely going to be grabbing that one too. And then last up, as always, is the random fucking board game, which I bought. And this time it's Key to the Kingdom. This is one of those games that I always wanted as a kid. You know, you'd see the adverts for it in magazines, and you'd see it in the Argos catalogue, and I'd circle it every fucking Christmas, hoping my parents would get it for me, and they never did. But now I'm a 31-year-old man, and I rule my own life. Finally picked up a game of King of the Kingdom, and we're going to play it uh, soon. Uh, a bunch of my mates, we're going to have a few beers and play this. But yeah, finally, like many, many years later, I got Key to the Kingdom, and it's really, really sweet. It's a sweet little adventure board game sort of thing, and it's pretty good fun. I had a little test run of it the other week, and yeah, it's just good fun. But finally, happy to pick that up, and that is, yeah, that's it. That is everything for this month, well, I say this month. My pickup videos are a bit random, aren't they? So, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back, uh, hopefully, within the next week, because I just got an email saying that the PS Solar Collector's Edition is finally shipped from uh, Watermelon Games, so that's going to be an unboxing do, and I can't fucking wait. So, thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, because it really helps me out a bunch. And I shall see you in the next video, which will probably be the uh, Shinobi vinyl, followed by Pierce Solar, and then more pickups. So, take it easy, guys.